Hey, welcome to Lawn Care. How can we help you today? Hey, I'd like to get a quote. Great. Could I please get your first and last name? John Smith. Thanks, John. Will this be for a home or commercial facility? Uh, it's for my house. Okay, great. What is the address? 123 Main Street. Perfect. Just to confirm, that's 123 Main Street? Yeah, that's right. Awesome. We will need to inspect the property for an accurate quote. What time and day suits you best? Tomorrow at 2 p.m. One moment. Sure, we've booked you in for tomorrow at 2 p.m. We will see you then. And there we go, an appointment has now been booked for tomorrow at 2 p.m. That was an AI voice agent qualifying me and then booking me into a Google Calendar slot for lawn mowing services. Home services businesses like pressure washing, pool maintenance, window cleaning, plumbing, etc. all get a significant amount of calls every single day either booking them into appointments, providing quotes or answering questions. With advancements in generative AI technology, we can now generate quick responses and realistic sounding voices. If the business owner takes these calls, it is going to consume a lot of time from doing tasks that actually help grow the business. Taking these calls manually can result in missed calls and lost opportunities, adding up over time and making a great impact on the business's bottom line. The customer experience is also far better as they are immediately connected with someone who can directly assist them in exactly what they're looking for. In this video, I will show you exactly how to build an AI voice agent that qualifies leads for certain services guides them down the particular path for that service and books them into an appointment on Google Calendar. My name is Brendan and I run Inflate AI where my team and I help businesses integrate the latest AI solutions. We've helped build AI voice solutions for several different industries, including pressure washing, irrigation, real estate, HVAC, etc. All of our clients have seen an increase in appointments booked, all leads qualified, so this is a must-have system for home services businesses. To build this, I'll use Vappy for the phone system and Make for the automations. And don't worry if you are not technical because both of these platforms are no slash low code tools that you can learn very quickly. So I've just gone ahead and created a brand new account on the Vappy AI phone caller platform. You can go ahead and do the same using my link in the description. To get started in creating our assistant on the Vappy platform, you're gonna land on a page that looks just like this. To get started, we're just gonna go to the create assistant button. In this first box here, we can give our assistant a name. I'm just gonna name this the lawn, lawn mowing bot. So the goal for my assistant is going to be building an inbound phone number for a lawn mowing service. This means that customers can go on their website, they can see the number for that particular business, they're gonna call in for their particular lawn mowing services, uh, they're gonna to talk to the bot and just tell it what, what it needs, whether that's one service over the other, it's then gonna take that information, capture it, it's going to then book an appointment with that information as well. Um, and then that's gonna be done. So once we've given our assistant a name, you're gonna see these options here. I'm just gonna select blank template because I'm gonna be starting from scratch. So once you've gone ahead and done that, you're gonna land on a page that looks just like this. This is now our assistant page because we've now created it and we're in our assistant settings. If you did wanna learn more about the in-depth settings to everything there is to know about Vappy, I do have a two hour AI phone caller platform where you can learn everything there is to know about AI phone callers which you can click in the top right. But for the purpose of this video, we're gonna be building a lawn mowing inbound caller that looks between two different services that the company offers. It then goes down a particular path that the caller was interested in and then goes ahead and then books an appointment into Google Calendar. So the first thing I'm gonna do is create my first message. In this instance, I'm just gonna say, hey, welcome to lawn care. How can we help you today? Then I'll move on to the system prompt. I'm just gonna remove this as we don't need that. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this template that I've created and I'm gonna structure my prompt around this template. So this template really just covers some of the basic elements that you should be including in your prompts to ensure that the assistant is sort of guided in the right direction so that it understands everything that it should understand. It knows the business, it knows the services, it knows its objectives. And that's what this template really covers. So before I dive into this prompt, the goal for this sort of lawn care caller assistant is going to be classifying this call into two different services. So this company might offer two different services. One might be commercial lawn mowing for schools or companies, and then one might be sort of your typical houses that are sort of mowing the backyard. So the goal for this assistant will be finding out whether or not it's an organization or it's a house, and then doing two different paths based on that, and then eventually booking them into an appointment. So the first thing I've gone ahead and put in here is you are John, an experienced salesperson for lawn mowing services. 
you are friendly and love to help customers find the right services. So the role is really trying to tell the assistant who they are and how they should act. So they should act as an experienced salesperson. They should also act friendly. And this is the overall sort of personality trait to them. Then the next step is building out the task. So what the assistant is actually doing. So you converse with the caller and find out which of our services they are a fit for, and then book them into an appointment to receive a quote. So this is the task they have at hand. They need to converse with the caller, talk with them, grab some information and then book an appointment. The next part in our prompt is the actual specifics. So this is how they actually achieve the tasks that we just set. So in this case, you will greet the user and try to capture their first and last name. You will then qualify the caller between two different services, either commercial lawn mowing or home lawn mowing. Once this is collected, you will ask for their address. You will then capture the date and time they will like an in-person appointment for a quote. The next step is just giving it some information about the business. So it really just has a good understanding as to what the business is about, what its objectives are, so that really just aligns on the same path and generates a really good call. So for this, I've said Lawn Care has over 20 years of experience mowing lawns. We value our customers and offer money back guarantees if we don't meet their expectations. Then the next step is what we do. So depending on the complexities of the services provided that may or may not be needed. In this case, lawn mowing, it's pretty simple and straightforward. So I probably don't need that. But obviously if the services are more complex, it's something that you can include. Once we've got some context for the business, we're gonna be moving on to one of the most important parts of our prompt, which is the examples. So the examples is what it's really gonna follow. It's really going to look at the examples uh, and try to follow this exact sort of script. So the first example that I have here is for the home lawn mowing script. So like I said earlier, we're gonna have two different sort of scripts that's gonna go down and this is how we can sort of do that. So this script will start off by saying, hey, welcome to lawn care, how can we help you today? If the customer says, hi, I'd like to get a quote, it will then continue. If they don't say that, that is still fine and it may still continue on. This is still using the sort of AI models in the background to really figure out what to respond with. So we don't have to be exactly precise in how we respond. It will sort of pick up on if somebody says it or words it slightly differently. It may require some further notes, but I'll cover what that means in a minute. This will then move on to, great, could I get your first and last name? If they provide that, thanks John, this will be for a home or commercial facility. And at this point, that is the sort of deciding factor. Will this be for a home or commercial facility? So they are the two different scripts that we're gonna be going down. In this case, they've said my home and we've said, what's the address, confirming the address. And then we're just saying to get an accurate quote, what time and day suits you best. Where they're gonna book that appointment and I'll cover the appointment booking function in just a minute. But to do this, I said run the booking function and then once we've done that, sure, we've booked you in for tomorrow at 2 p.m. Now below this, I've just added in another script, which is for our different sort of service. So in this case, this is the commercial lawn mowing services. And this is exactly the same until it gets to this point here. Will this be for a home or commercial facility? And in this case, it said it's for a schoolyard. And so in this case, it said, okay, great. What's the address? And then it said, perfect. We need to make a visual assessment. This will cost around $500. Is that okay? They've said, yes, that's fine. Then the appointment is scheduled. So if this is working correct, we should be able to tell it whether or not we have a home or a commercial facility. And based on that, it's gonna be able to look at these two different scripts. It's gonna then know which one we should ask to pay us $500 or which one we should just book the appointment straight away. So let's test if this actually works. Hey, welcome to Lawn Care. How can we help you today? Hey, I was looking to see if I could get a quote. Great. Could I please get your first and last name? Uh, John Johns. Thanks, John. Will this be for a home or commercial facility? It'll be for my house. Okay, great. What is the address? It's 120 John Street. Perfect. Just to confirm, that's 120 John Street? Yeah, that's right. Awesome. We will need to inspect the property for an accurate quote. What time and day suits you best for an in-person appointment? Yeah, tomorrow 3 p.m. will work. Great, I've booked you in for tomorrow at 3 p.m. So that worked perfectly and now I'm gonna do the commercial side of it. Hey, welcome to Lawn Care. How can we help you today? Hey, I was looking to see if I could get a quote. Great, could I please get your first and last name? Yeah, it's Mary Smith. Thanks, Mary. Will this be for a home or commercial facility? It's for, uh, yeah, it's for a commercial facility. It's actually a factory. Got it. What is the address of the factory? It's 125 Smith Street. 
Perfect. We will need to make a visual assessment and this will cost around $500. Is that okay with you? Yeah, that's completely fine. Great. What time would you like to schedule the appointment for the quote? Uh, maybe Friday, 4 p.m. Got it. I've booked the appointment for Friday at 4 p.m. So there we go. We've now been able to provide two different scripts for two different purposes and have it go down this sort of flow between two different scripts. Uh, and in this case, it's able to sort of see that detection point and then go down the different script depending on that. And then from there, we can do whatever we want. And then lastly, I have a notes section at the end here. And this is what I use for really testing and really just adding to the existing assistant. So the reason it sort of needs this is that not every time will it run perfectly like it just did then. Sometimes you'll see there are some inconsistencies with certain things. And that's why we really value testing at our agency. This prompt here is really good and it gets you these sort of foundational uh, elements to building a really good prompt. But once you deploy the system and start to get some feedback, you'll notice that there are areas that you'll want to improve on, whether it's saying something slightly differently, especially if you're going to be adding more to this prompt, whether it's having five different services instead of two, you're going to start to realize that you need some notes to actually start to add in some guardrails. And these guardrails is really making sure that the assistant is confined to really saying certain things and you can do that through the notes. So I do recommend you go ahead and watch my prompt engineering for AI callers video where I really break down prompt engineering for AI callers and I cover the importance of testing these assistants because whilst it might work really well when you get it up and running, once you deploy the system, you start getting calls through. You realize it's not as consistent and as reliable as you thought it was. And so really testing this assistant and really changing a lot of the words can actually increase the accuracy by a lot. But for testing purposes, this prompt will get the job done. But for our clients, we would go through and add in some more conditioning. For example, we would want to confirm their first and last name every time. We would want to confirm their address every time just to make sure that over a span of a long time, capturing all of these calls coming through, we want to make sure that we're always getting the right info, especially if we're going to be booking appointments or sending data to CRM systems. We want to make sure that the data is correct and we can do that. It just requires more conditioning, more testing and just more work adding onto this initial script. But fundamentally, this covers the base of everything. I'm now going to move into booking appointments into Google Calendar. And so this is a template that I have released on a previous video where I showed you how to build this template and book appointments from VAPI into Google Calendar. I recommend you join my free school community, which is linked below, where I'm going to have this make template as well as the VAPI prompt in my school community for completely free. So to connect this appointment booking template to our system, we just need to go over to the functions tab on VAPI and we're going to use the tools. Now, previously I've used the custom functions section here. This has now been deprecated, which means they're just removing it and they're replacing it in order of tools. But the tools are pretty similar and it just actually helps us manage and organize our systems and functions a lot easier. So what I'm going to do is click select tools and just click create new tool. Then I'm going to click on new tool. I'm going to click on make.com. It's then going to ask us for a server URL. I'm going to go back to this template that I've gone ahead and imported. Click on the webhook here and just click copy address to clipboard. Add that into my server URL and click save. Then I'm going to click next. Then we need to create our property, which is the bit of data that we need to extract from our conversation into this make template for the appointment booking. So in this case, what we need to do is get not only the name, but as well as the time they'd like to book for, so we can send that information to our appointment booking. So the first one I'm going to create is called customer name. And in this case, we're saying capture the customer's first and last name. Keep that as a string and hit save. We'll create a new property for booking time. This is the date and time the user wants to book. Save. And then we also want to capture the service types, so whether or not it was a commercial service or it was a home service so that the people that are there know which one it was. So I'm just going to type service type. And I'm going to say this is the type of service, either home or commercial. Save. Then hit next. And then we just need to give it some broad info about what the tool is used for. So for name, we're just going to say, and then in the description, we're going to describe its purpose, which is this is used to book appointments for our services. And then we're just going to hit create. And once we've done this, we've now created a tool on VAPI and this tool can actually be used across all of our assistants. So on VAPI, obviously we can actually create more than one assistant. So we can then just use this tool and duplicate it across all of our assistants. So we actually only have to set that up really once depending on obviously how many bots you need it for. Hit select tool, booking, and now it is now assigned to our assistant. So let's see if this actually works. 
Hey, welcome to Lawn Care. How can we help you today? Hey, I was looking to see if I could get a quote. Great. Could I please get your first and last name? Yeah, John Smith. Thanks, John. Will this be for a home or commercial facility? It's for my home. Okay, great. What is the address? 123 Main Street. Perfect. Just to confirm, that's 123 Main Street. What yep. time and day suits you best? Awesome. We will need to inspect the property for an accurate quote. What time and day suits you best? Uh, can you do tomorrow 4 p.m.? This will just take a sec. Sure, we've booked you in for tomorrow at 4 p.m. So there we have it. It was able to take that booking time as well as some other information and book that directly into Google Calendar. You can see here that it has directly booked itself into my Google Calendar at 4 p.m. Uh, tomorrow. It's also included all of the information with the booking, the name, the service type, um, and it's also got some notes down here that I created, which is a part of the template. Um, if you have seen the template video, you'll notice that you will have to obviously configure this to work with your time zone. So you won't be able to just copy and paste this directly in. You do need to change it up uh, in terms of the time zones to make sure it knows exactly when to book for. Once that is set up, you will be able to just directly book into Google Calendar using that automation and then connect it to this VAPI prompt. Now there were a few things that I did have to change quickly when I was testing this. One thing was that I said, only run the function once and do not format the date. These are two things that I just added in uh, here because these are just some conditionings that I found that sometimes it might run the function twice for some reason, or it might format the date in a date that it doesn't or the make.com automation doesn't like. So just say, don't format the date only run the function once and it seemed to work quite good. So this is a really good example of some of the notes and additional things that you need to add into the prompt when you start testing it, because I guarantee when I start testing this thing more, there's going to be a lot more that I will need to add in to make this thing more consistent and more reliable over time. Uh, and so in this case, doing something like that works. And then once again, there's going to be more things that you need to add in when you start to test this thing. If you want to get a system just like this built out for your business, you can go ahead and book a call with me using the link in the description. And if you want to learn more about building these AI voice callers, you can go ahead and watch my two hour video, which is on the screen right now.